A years-long investigation into allegations of theft and misspending at Kaiser High School ended without charges. But is that investigation having an impact on today's public education shakeup? Gina Mangieri is always investigating. Gina? Joe, since the Kaiser case, there has been fallout over how the Department of Education handles investigations and inquiries. Some see possible connections between that and the superintendent's future. Last night, Always Investigating revealed what happened in 2013 when former Kaiser principal John Sosa retired while under investigation. That investigation was turned over to the Attorney General, which looked into the case and closed it without charges. Tonight, Sosa tells us he feels the investigation was retribution for speaking out against DOE changes. Clearly, the action they took against me sent a Paul across the system. Where other administrators said, we just better comply because if we don't, what they did to John can happen to me. They all left from Kaiser. They were out of your jurisdiction. Why push it on to the AG at the time that it was sent there in the summer of 2014? Well, I think there was a discussion internally as to what was a next step if there was a sense that there was something wrong that was done. Um, but we have no further recourse. Now, soon after the AG closed that case without charges, the superintendent, once rated exceptional, found herself being ushered out. Tonight, we're digging more into the reasons and the connections. That's in my full Always Investigating report tonight at 10. Gina Mangieri, KHON 2 News.